right, so just trying to find a solution to this uh, nitrate problem I got. Uh, right now, I have a um, four-stage canister filter set up on my system. Um, it's not a must. It's just a little extra filtration that I added on. Um, so basically what I did, usually part of my monthly maintenance I do, I'll break it down and uh, clean out all the uh, media in here and the uh, filter pads and stuff like that. So um, I just decided to break this one down today and, you know, give you guys an overview of what it basically looks like. So um, I took the uh, top off here, pulled the impeller out, and I uh, cleaned out the uh, impeller that was in there. Um, these are the different stages that it comes through the top here. Um, it was a coarse filter pad that underneath has one of these um, fine uh, cotton filter pads. And then stage two would be uh, bio balls. Um, stage three would be uh, ceramic rings. Stage four would be activated carbon. Now in between each one of these uh, shells underneath the uh, tray here was another one of these fine filter pads. Um, one thing that I was noticing that these things really get dirty and are very big detritus traps. Um, I know a lot of my sand um, and the uh, silicates that are in there really get trapped in here. And every time I go to clean these out, they're just full of just full of just gunk and silicates and dirt and stuff. So. What I've done to try to modify that, I've pulled these three out that would go on each shelf and I'm just going to remove those from the system and just have this first stage where it'll just be one coarse pad and one um, fine um, fine pad on there. I'm going to place that in there but just to give you guys a clue of what I was talking about, after rinsing out all the media rinsing out these filter pads this is the inside of the actual canister and you can see what that water looks like I mean it's a little bit darker but that's just for me rinsing the carbon in it but uh, when you look at it closely I mean you can see a lot of the sand, the silicates, the detritus that's built up in there at the bottom of this container is just full of that so I mean I'm thinking this may be the uh, source of my um, high nitrate levels but you know I'm gonna put this all back together and see if this small modification that I've done if that's going to um, help fix this problem okay so as you can see here definitely one of the negative side effects of having a canister filter in a salt water setup um, man, if just I cleaned out this canister filter today. It's usually something I do monthly, but I uh, just wanted to clean it out because I'm trying to tackle these high nitrate levels. And basically, after dumping out, cleaning out the filters in there, all the media, um, and actually dumping out all the salt water out of the canister, I decided to put some of that. Um, in this container here and I let this settle over a couple hours and this is what I have this is what that canister filter has been collecting and this is just all this detritus here you know that's that's a lot you know that I'm thinking this could be part of the reason or the reason why my nitrate levels are so high I mean uh, I my only solution for this would probably either be removing the canister filter completely from my system or just doing more frequent maintenance on this uh, canister filter but as you can see and this is it's pretty bad I'll just shake this up a little bit but uh... just give you an idea just what that is there just all that detritus it's pretty
pretty bit. Yeah, so we'll see. Just testing this out right now and seeing what's going on with it. But, uh, depending on how these results go, will be uh, will determine whether or not what direction I go with this uh, filter. <laughs> 